Good morning, church. Welcome to our daily devotion insight. Today, I want to share on devotion 15 on the subject, the theme called Be Brave. All right? 15, I want to share with you devotion today. Brave when discouraged. Brave when discouraged. The Bible tells us uh, in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, chapter 4, verses 8 and 9 says, We are hard pressed on every side by troubles. But we are not crushed. We are perplexed, but not driven to despair. We are hunted down, but never abandoned by God. We get knocked down, but we are not destroyed. You know, Paul talks about his life situation and the life situation of the people in the Middle East, in Asia Minor, where when they were serving the Lord and so on and so forth, there was so much of trouble, so much of opposition, so much of pain. There were diseases, sicknesses, you know, and, uh, and he has malaria so many times, sicknesses so many times, you know. And uh, Paul said, I, I'm hard pressed on all sides of my life, every area of my life. You know, he said, I'm not pressed, I am not discouraged, I am not crushed, and I'm not abandoned by God. Because you know why? I'm not destroyed because God is with me. Amen. Like what you and I are going through this pandemic, pandemic uh, situation. A lot of people are going through very much, diff a lot of difficult times. You and me too, you know. Uh, livelihood is so different today. Day-to-day -to -day life is so different today compared to last time. You know, Mark tells us this. Mark chapter 10, verse 24. Jesus looked at them intently and said, Humanly speaking, it is impossible, but not with God. Everything is possible with God. You know what Jesus was telling them? There are a lot of situations in life that seems to be so impossible, so difficult. It cannot be done. It cannot be helped. There's so much things that we go through in life. Sometimes it is so, you know, so great. We find it so difficult to live and to walk daily with God and in our lives. You know what? There is something truly, truly remarkable about a person whose faith is consistent. Things come along our way to hinder us from moving forward. Things come along our way to press us down on our faith so that we will struggle, we will find it difficult to still believe and, and trust in our God and rely on our God. Everything around you and I somehow, sometimes seems to be so negative, so discouraging. Life can be discouraging. You know, I found, I've been in a conversation some time ago with someone who is smiling all the time and full of joy all the time, but shocked to find out. Midway through the conversation with the person, I was shocked to find out in his life lately, his smile and joy aren't, her smile and joy aren't masking her discouragement, her difficulties and her struggle in life, but evidence of the God who is bringing her through it. She had had cancer in her life. She battled with cancer, the losing of her hair, the medication is eating up her body, her cancer is ravaging her body, and, and she struggling every day to live and to survive. But you know, in one of the conversations where we heard when she was recovering, we, I only found out that she was going to such a terrible time, but she was always smiling and joyful. You know, her faith maintained the same with God. You know, her, her, her faith was evidence, her smile and her joy was evidence of the God who is bringing her through her difficult times. Her faith in God is consistent despite her discouragement. Her pain in God was constant in spite of the pain and the struggle and the trouble and the difficulty she, has, she is going through. The Bible says that there will be troubles, there will be struggle, there will be difficulty, there will be pain, pain in life. We will be perplexed. We will be hard pressed. We will be knocked down. But God is always with us. God is always with us. Remember this. Whatever you and I are going through in times such as this and now that you and I are going through, no matter what it is, they may press hard on you. It may be a struggle. It may be a pain. It may be a difficulty. But remember this. 
God has never abandoned you and I to go through it alone. God is always with us. Remember, He said this with me. God is always with me. Amen. Protecting us from being crushed, protecting us from being destroyed, driven to despair and, and, and heartbroken and, and pain and struggle and difficulty. He's protecting us from being crushed and destroyed and being pushed to the ex maximum of being despair. He's protecting us from this. We can stay strong in the face of trials and difficulties and struggle. Why? Because of the promise that God gave us that He will never abandon us. Remember this, God has promised us He will never abandon us because He who calls us is faithful. Amen. The Bible tells us in Joshua chapter 1, verse 9, Have I not commanded you, be strong and courageous? Do not be afraid, do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. The same thing is said to you. Now, the Lord, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you are, whatever you're going through, and whatever you are facing. Why? Because He said to you and I, be strong and courageous. He said, do not be afraid. Do not give up. Do not be discouraged. Do not say, where is God? Remember this. God is with you. He will go through with you. He will grant you the strength and the grace that you so need. When you go through the most trying time, go through the fire of life with you, He will be the fourth person or the second person with you in your life. You know the Hebrews children, the Bible talks about three of them, they did not bow down to the big, huge, nine feet, uh, uh, nine feet tall statue. But you know what? The Bible says that the, 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 because of that, the king threw them into the furnace and when they went into the furnace, you know what? There was a fourth person inside. And that fourth person will be the second person in your life. When you go through difficult times, He is with you. And you will not be burned up in your struggle and the fire that come through your life. And you will not be destroyed because He will carry with you. You will not, you will not be discouraged so beyond comprehension because you know what? He is with you for His grace and His strength is sufficient for you and for me. Amen? Amen. So we God on our side, we can withstand and persevere in all circumstances. We will grow in our faith, our trust in God, endurance in God. We, can, we, we are called to be brave when we are discouraged and display a consistent faith because our God is consistently faithful. One more time. We are called to be brave when we are discouraged and display a dis a consistent faith because our God is consistently faithful. Amen? So, in time of discouragement, in time of trial, in time of testing, be brave. Be brave. Because He who call you is faithful. He will never abandon you. He will hold you at, by, by your hand and He will walk through together with you. Amen? So it takes a brave person to hold on, to hang on, and to move on with God ahead and not giving up. Amen? So when you're discouraged, be brave. Because He calls you is good and people, and He's a good God. Amen? Amen? Let's pray. Father, we pray that you will strengthen and bless all my brothers and sisters who, has, who is struggling in their life with discouragement and pain and struggle and difficulties or sicknesses and diseases, or loneliness, or financial situation, whatever it may be, Lord, we are thankful that you are with us through it all. And help us, give us the grace to be brave, to be brave when discouragement comes our way, because you are with us, and you will not abandon us, and you will never abandon us, because you are a faithful God. We love you. Thank you for the assurance. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Be brave when discouragement comes because He is with you. Amen. God bless you with a great, great day. Amen.